Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. So to begin with, we've got a top down of my pedal board here. Um, there's a lot going on here, so I'm just gonna walk you through all of the pedals and then we'll start at that bass, setting that bass sound. So starting from the beginning of my signal chain, I've got a, uh, a tuner going into a compressor. Compressor's pretty much always on, we'll get to that soon. I've got a distortion before this Morning Glory JHS pedal, which is an overdrive based on a blues breaker style circuit. Uh, I have the old Faithful I've just bought, again, Again, if you're familiar, if you've been a long, a long time fan of the channel, you may have seen this pedal before, but I've picked up another one and we'll get using that one today. And then up on the top shelf here, I've got a EQ boost pedal, uh, so this is the Noodles by Ground Control Audio, a little um, lesser known company, but they do support a lot of the, you know, the math rock guitarists that we like, so go and check those out. Uh, then I got this the other day, so a Tailspin Vibrato, uh, I got Strymon Dig, which is a digital delay, and then on the left side here we've got uh, the Dream 65 by Universal Audio, which is my amp sim pedal. And you may be wondering what this is, this is the DI box, I'm sending my signal out of this pedal because it's unbalanced into here so it's balanced uh, unbalanced still but then the the i box is going to make it balanced with these two xlr cables out which will make it uh, you know my left and right stereo sound there so let's start with how i set my bass sound and i'll give you some tips and tricks along the way so how does this sound going direct so currently there's nothing on it's just my guitar into the audio interface <laughs> Now let's bring in my preset on this Universal Audio Dream pedal. And this is based on a Fender style amp, it's a 65 Deluxe Reverb. So automatically it's starting to sound like more of an amplifier. Um, do keep in mind with these amp synth pedals, uh, there are a lot of different sounds you can get out of. I like this pedal because it's got presets so I can have different sounds for you know all my different guitars. So for example, even if I just go through the you know the speaker selection here. And that's without any speaker simulation on. So you can see you get a lot of um, different EQ options that way. So if you're not really digging the sound of you know, the amp synth pedal you have, try to use some different IRs, you know, the impulse response, the um, emulation of a, of a speaker cabinet basically. And you can do the same if you're using software on your PC as well. So I do recommend trying those out if you're not completely loving the sound you have. Let's get back to that setting that bass sound. So I've set this relatively flat because I like to do the bass sound with my pedals. The first pedal I'm going to engage here is the compressor. I just have this always on. It gives a nice little boost and just controls the signal. The next thing I'll do is I like to have like a slightly overdriven signal for my bass sound. So what I use is the JHS Morning Glory here. And you can hear that's just adding a bit of grit, a bit of chime to the signal, and I just really like that sound. And then the last stage in my bass sound, uh, I find the Deluxe Reverb is a little bit mid-scooped, especially with this pedal um, interpretation of the amplifier. So I use this uh, Noodles by Ground Control just to boost the mids ever so often, just to add a bit of sparkle. <laughs> So hopefully there you can hear where it's you know giving a little hump to the EQ. And this pedal, you know, it's on the lowest setting as well, and you can throw in loads of awesome things. Very versatile pedal, 
I find it as like a, a problem solver pedal basically. Okay, so that is step one. That's how I set up my bass sound. So have a think about those things with your setup. If you're using pedals before your amplifier, try some of the things that I just shown you there. Um, generally, if you are going to use pedals to use your bass sound, one of the most important things I find is that making sure that you set your amp relatively flat with not too much gain on it. However, it all depends on the personal situation, the guitar that you have, the amplifier that you have. So um, there are no strict rules here, of course. So just apply, apply your best intuitions and try and dial in that sound that you are looking for. So moving on to stage two, we're going to look at gain staging here. Uh, I have two core sounds. So basically it's this one. <laughs> And then when I want to get even more grittier, I put this uh, Fender Pugilist Distortion and that's before the Morning Glory. And I'll show you why, because I just prefer the way this sounds basically into the Morning Glory pedal. <laughs> Yeah, it just has a nice bit more you know, drive to it. And I just like to retain that you know, spankiness that you get from a Telecaster. Um, so for example, if I take this Morning Glory off, let's hear how this pedal sounds on its, or by its, on its tart by itself. <laughs> Got a lot more low end, a bit more mid scooped. I'm not really a fan of that kind of sound. I can adjust that with the tone, but I just like how it sounds going into the Morning Glory with that kind of mid hump. <laughs> So for the last pedal in the chain, uh, this Il Torino Overdrive, like I said, um, I only got this one recently. I thought about giving a slight more boost to this signal, giving a bit more gain and perhaps giving you some even more clarity. Um, that's how I've got it set at the moment anyway. I don't particularly need it to be honest, but I've just given it a go at the moment. So how this is how that sounds. <laughs> Kind of just gives a different flavor of overdrive at the moment. I can tweak it a lot more, maybe bring you know, more mid in, mid in <laughs> some more bass. A bit more meatier, if that's a term we could use. What I did notice yesterday actually when I was messing around with it is it sounds pretty good with um, giving a different flavour overdrive compared to the JHS here. <laughs> On its own. Uh, yeah, so it's something I've not experimented with, but I think that could be, you know, used as the bass sound as well. Again, without the pedal on. Adds a nice bit of warmth and grit that way. Of course, you can tweak it as much as you like as well to get the sound you want. Okay, so that's the second stage, uh, looking at gain staging there. Maybe it's something you've not heard of before or you're interested to try. Well, I encourage you to try out different orders of pedals, of course, as well. I just, like I said, I preferred the sound of this pedal going into this pedal versus this pedal before this pedal. You know, those kind of things matter, uh, all in your journey to find the best sound. So let's move on to having some fun. Um, I've got these two pedals at the back here, for, uh, just a vibrato and a delay here. The vibrato I got just a couple of days ago. It's that really kind of fun pedal. Um, basically sounds like this, a bit wobbly. <laughs> So some lovely wobbly fun there. And um, apologies about the pedal board camera, by the way, it's on like a, on a stick and it keeps wobbling about. So you have to put it with that, unfortunately. Um, so the last thing I've got here, we'll, we'll turn that off for now. And we'll bring in this Strymon 
digital delay, which has two delay lines separated left and right. When you put it in stereo, it sounds rather wonderful. <laughs> For fun of it, let's throw in some some tailspin vibrato. <laughs> mm -hmm. 